Before you came to see me, you said that you'd made an appointment to see the doctor. Okay. And it was going to be for two days after I'd seen you. Okay. Because I thought I was schizophrenic. Why did you think you were schizophrenic? Because one minute everything would seem okay and I'd seem at peace, and then the next minute everything would feel like it changed and I'd just start shouting and be really angry. And then once I'd shouted, I'd go back to the way that I was before. Okay. And so I thought, I thought I'd looked at everything and so the doctor would be able to fix it. But then I decided to Google and see what I could find. Okay. Found you. Okay. Can you understand why you were thinking like that? Yeah. And what do you think then? Because I'm a six on the Enneagram. And I do worst case scenario thinking. And also because as a six you do feel like something's changed, but actually you just need to discuss that with somebody. Like if it's when you're in a relationship, for instance, which is where it normally happens to me. Right. So I just need to tell them that I oh, know nothing's actually changed, but can you just reassure me that everything's okay? Yeah. And then that is all it would take. Would say. You know? I just I just I suppose I was looking for an answer, wasn't I? I wanted an answer. Um and I couldn't think of anything else that it could be. So I suppose I tried to pin it on something. And the six questioning of, and always questioning of what's wrong with me? Why Why am I like this? Yeah. And what can I do about it? Uh, and, and then the searching of a label yeah. um, is, is almost uh, feeling quite reassuring if you're a six. Because then you're able to sort of, you've got your answer to your question. And I think people find with the Enneagram, some people sometimes... And other therapists who I've uh, not been so uh, close to in recent years um, have found it very boxing and very um, very much labelling. And people will say, well, I'm not into labels and I'm not into boxing. Uh, what would you say now you've found your type? Yeah, I don't agree with that. I think before I came to see you, I thought I was the only person that was like this. I thought I was like some crazy person that just couldn't <laughs> deal with anything because my mum wasn't like it right. and my sister wasn't like it. Right. And they were saying, well, you just need to sort yourself out and learn to live with yourself the way that you are. But actually, now I know, I have done, yeah, but now I know that there are nine personalities and I'm just one of those. And there's loads of other people out there. There's lots and lots of data and information on the Enneagram of all the types and... Um, you can do Enneagram online tests. Um, obviously, you can come and have sessions with me, and usually I'll be able to work out your type within the first uh, session. But you found it quite useful for self-acceptance then? Yeah, definitely. And for understanding yourself yeah. and being able to master much more of your psychology. Yeah. Because a lot of people in the EFT world, and even in NLP, will don't like it, and I don't find it boxing at all. I find it that it helps you to get outside of the box. I find that uh, I can generally see any of types in life anyway, but I can usually tell their type in the first session. And once we find out what their ego agenda is, which is of wanting to get to be of security, control, or love and approval, it's always about finding that within. And as a security type, that's not really going on that much for you, isn't it? That, I mean, it was kind of like you did have some, some issues to do with, mm -hmm. with self-love. But um, and self acceptance, but it's enabled you to feel more what? Well, just feel at peace and love myself. <laughs> love yourself. Yeah. yeah. And when you first said that on our first session, you need to love yourself. I was like, don't be silly. I can't ever love myself. Don't even like myself. Right. Actually, I do. Yeah. I'm exactly the same. And that's what I found out with uh, my own um, discovery of it and my going into my own tendency and my own type. And that's why I'm very um, honest with, with clients whenever I'm coaching them as well, because it's been my own personal journey, which I think inspires people to come to me because I say it's not just I've read this stuff from yeah. books, it's that I've massively transformed my life in every area. And, and I like to be able to help people out of suffering. And I used to do this anyway, for free. So it was just like being paid to do a hobby, yeah. really. And um, I, I hope, I think that comes across in the work that I do. So I'm not so 
professional as sort of like, so Donna, tell me about your problems. <laughs> and sort of, so you're just, you know, talking to me about them. And yeah. It, we can relate getting, to you. I right. think that's, that's the important thing. There's no sort of, you're talking down. I've never felt like you're talking down to me. Right. You're always talking to me like you're on the same level, like you understand what I'm going through. Because I do. Because I've been there in that, yeah. in that crazy, insane way of um, being very stuck in lots of limiting beliefs. And um, as a six, um, understanding what paranoia is and that absolute petrified feeling of that you're going to go insane. So it's very, very interesting that you said that, that you thought... Well, you were going to go to the doctor two days after my session. So if I hadn't done any work with you, you would have tried to get a label of, I'm schizophrenic. Yeah. It's interesting you didn't tell me that in the first session. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I didn't want to admit it. Okay. Um, but I would have said that you, you, you were, weren't even borderline schizophrenic. That was just a six pattern of being massively overwhelmed mm. about your feelings and your circumstances. And because you were having issues coming up, that uh, were ready to be dealt with, that uh, we were able to clear with EFT and NLP and some advanced hypnotic pattern language that I was using in sessions. Um, you were ready to, to let go. And some people do come and they're not fully ready and they do need to have more of an understanding. But you're at the tipping point of going to do some great work, which is why we just kept clearing stuff and clearing stuff and clearing stuff. The point that five sessions and you feel like a brand new you. I do. 